One, two, one, two, one, two. All right. I think we should be, we should have sound now, I think. Yeah, so I had both cameras blow out, so I'm on a triple backup. These these cameras I have are just I'm I'm going to have to figure something out. Let them out. That's all right. It's better than here listening to them whine. Okay, hold on here. Cancel. Guys, I'll, I'll get this going in a second. I just need to make a couple more adjustments. Oh, cat, please. Of course, the cat decides to whine. I mean, if it could go bad, it's going bad today. All right, so we're going to try to paint this game. Are you going to use the a video game as a reference? I got my Dark Soul copy on the way. Hopefully it will arrive in Norway next week. No, I'm not going to use the... I'm going by what these cards are. And the art is. So I've seen a ton of the art on here. And for instance, this guy's gold with a red head drift so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we got them to that point uh we're, we're probably i'm just going to wing it and do it the way i want to do the 4k camera stop working no uh that one i can't stream with yet so i'm hoping i can stream with it at some point but um tell her to let them out okay um but I'm actually going to um, wing it from with a, a majority of these. Um, from what, from the way they look and everything, we're just going to go with that. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do the best we can to get through this um, this actual thing here that we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to take and have my water rag over here and. We'll just get a little bit of water on that and let's get going. So what I did with this particular guy so far, and I'm just going to paint over this right now as that cat screams in the background, which is just awesome. I'll tell you, if it can go wrong today, it has gone wrong, but we're going to keep painting anyways. We're trying to get this ready because we're thinking of playing this on Friday. So we're going to see how we do. This is a corn red that I'm using. Now what I did... Uh, I took... Um, I, I took and primed it black. And from there, I took some retribution gold. And all I did was just dry brush over it. And the reason for doing that was, is I kind of wanted to set the base here because the guy's mostly gold. And that's the way we're going to, uh, you know, start working these. We're going to build outwards with them. Then, Friday it is then. Are you guys planning on playing campaign mode? Mike came by. He was here 10 minutes ago uh, while I was struggling. He was going to say hi, but the, uh, everything blew up. So he got going. But Mike took the rules. So I left it up to Mike as far as what we're going to play. Now, tomorrow Mike will be here. We're going to do a live um, unboxing of everything that we got from from origins so that I think will be interesting because it's really going to kind of play into what we're going to do over the weekend 
as we're trying to squeeze in as much as we can before the big two weeks comes where we have the Dice Tower Con and then we have um, boy I tell you I'm just messing everything up today this is just not going well today some days you just have bad days of streaming and that's what we got going here just nothing goes your way um, I got to test the boss fight against the dancer that's cool now I'm going to also use this color the very same color I'm gonna let that dry a little bit because we're gonna end up using that again but the corn red is also going to go on to this guy here which I've already kind of dry brushed in there a little bit not too much but enough but I kind of look at this guy and I say red cape and that kind of works for me so what are we gonna do we're gonna give my red cape and that's what we're gonna do because I think that'll work pretty well with him now you just want to take your time here now what I did here is just to have the primer really kinda define this guy right now we're gonna to go to a smaller brush but I'm trying to take care of all the big areas for time's sake and let's get a little water on here there we go and all we're doing is just trying to go over this cape here and give this guy a little bit of color but we're going to build out with this guy a bit also. So I'm going to try to get my hands out of the way so we're not killing this. And then my son's mowing outside, so that's a distraction. So it's just one big giant disaster today. But we'll get through it. This is how you paint during adversity. And my poor wife knows I'm aggravated because she's not saying a word. <laughs> Usually she would chime in and tell me to shut up or something, you know. But there are just times where you just don't shake the bear, and this is one of them. Uh, what are your plans for the bases? I haven't made any plans yet, Yoda. As soon as I figure it out, you will as well so I haven't really planned on what I'm going to do with the bases um, right now we just we cracked the box open uh, we got it primed and then we had like disaster after disaster transpire so as far as I've gotten to I'm just kinda at that point where let's just get some paint on these and then we'll decide what to do with them from there um, you know, because of the way the bases are, I got to look at the tiles, which I haven't done yet. And uh, really kind of just kind of figure out what I want to do. Let's add some water here. There we go. And just taking our time. Trying not to make this work. And there we go. Got a good brush, uh, you know, a nice thick detail, not not detail brush, but uh, one of the brushes that I normally use to kind of bring some things out. Um, oh, that's maybe some of the problems that they were having earlier. All right, there we go. Yeah, um, and then Friday, uh, Thursday, we're going to Announce the winners of the patron this month. Maybe I'll win something. That'll be a change. All right. Can't wait to hear another person review of the game. Can't always make live plays, but I'm loving the wrap up show. Yeah, afterwards, uh, we're going to play it with Janice myself um, and we're just going to do the best we can as far as I'm got my hands gonna be in the way here for a second 
course, I put the camera on the wrong side because we panicked because we had to change cameras. So it's just been a very tough start to this. But all we're doing right now, we're trying to get that red in there, and it seems to be going on there pretty nice over this not really great primer. I um, tried a different primer because I, I ran out of primer. And I just don't like it, to be honest with you. It's actually a Rust-Oleum, but it is, it's not that great, to be honest. All right. So we got that on there. Let's just clear this off a little bit. And we're going to take a look here. Um, hmm. Now, with this, I wonder if I should go the gold here. I don't think that would look half bad if I did that on this guy. I mean, with the with the red, but I just don't want to overwhelm things. On my way up to your area next week, Rob, I signed a lease on a place in Winter Park, Winter Springs. We are moving on the 30th. Rob, do you know which uh, Sony 4K model you use? The picture is amazing. I need to buy a camcorder. There are several. I think it's the AG something or another. I just don't know what 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 it is off offhand. Um, oh, Dark Souls! You guys are in for a treat. Yeah, we're gonna get monkey stomped, but it'll be worth it. All right. So let's see here. I don't know if I want to go that there. Maybe we'll try to brighten this guy not brighten these guys up we'll go a little something different like a dark gray or something and highlight that I don't know I'm gonna think on him for a bit because in the pictures they show these guys as you can see what we have here um, this guy is particularly and I, I researched a little bit and he is completely gold believe it or not so what I think I'm going to do is really just try to bring some things out with him because after all he's a nasty boss and we want him to look nasty. So I think a nice Agrath Earth Shade wash it over him and then try to bring it out a bit. So we'll work, we'll work there. Um, Alright, so we got this somewhat done. Oh, I just see a little spot there I need to take care of. And also, I think I'm going to try to paint a little bit of his his head area there. But I went to go live and the camera just completely died. It was just awful. Awful way to start things. You know, we do, you know, we got, we now have a good travel camera. <coughs> That's our go-to. And, uh... We're going to try to improve the sound and a few other things. So we're doing pretty good there. I can't complain. All right, should I go there and there? Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to clean off this brush and just get a little bit of a smaller brush. I'm sorry for my arm getting in the way. I actually put everything in the wrong area. So I just need to move this over here, this over here. And then we can work out outwards so um, kind of want to be a little careful here so let's just get some paint on here and we're going to be a little bit more uh, take a, a little bit more of our time and just kind of work into that area there as you can see kind of want that to sit up there now we're going to go over this with a wash, believe it or not. And over here, we're going to be somewhat careful. Of course, this brush has a broken bristle on it, so it's sticking out and getting in the way. Boy, nothing's going right today. There's sometimes you should paint, and sometimes you should not paint. Today is um, do not paint day. All right, let me add a little water. There we go. 
All right, so we're gonna just try to work the headdress in there, just so we. And I think we will add some color in there to really kind of make that sit out a little bit. You see, we're just painting the inside there. And this is going to look like garbage to begin with. But trust me, we're going to we're going to try to get it to pop a little bit more. The pictures really don't give you a lot and I didn't play the video game. I know Justin did and he crushed it, believe it or not. Your travel canning camera is outstanding picture quality. Yes, the one with I guess it's the dancer. I really don't know much about the game. I am looking forward to playing it. And like I said, Justin crushed this game severely. So what we're trying to do is we're just going to try to get this painted up. And just really let it sit up a bit. No, because I just don't know what the colors are. And, you know, I'm just going by what I think. And sometimes that's a good thing to do is just kind of go by what, what you think will work. Right, here comes the girls. Get ready one and all. Well, you knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. It's pretty hard. Once you learn the monsters, it gets a bit easier. Question, were you able to pass my message to the... Yes, I was, Nathaniel. I just noticed Smog's, Smoth's ha hammer. Yes, R.A. Klein. Uh, I recognize her by the sword. She actually has two swords when the battle goes on. Okay. I did not know that, Mario. All right, so let's clean that off. Put that brush away. Let's let him dry for a little bit. And I think this is a good time in this to kind of get a little bit of what we're trying to accomplish here. Now what I did here for these particular guys yeah, go ahead and then a lot of this is just a lot of dry brushing so so as you can see we're working on a few things um, I recognize her by the sword I'm just checking the chat Okay, so we're going to put him aside and him aside because we're going to come back to him. Even though these look like they're done, I dry brush this in a pallid witch flesh, as you can see, and this works out real good. And um, this guy here in an etching gray so far, as you can see, we just dry brushed over the primer with an etching gray, and we're going to be building outwards with these guys. Um, so the silver knights, well, guess what? They're silver, but there's still some work to do on these guys to build them out. So there we go. So we're going to keep on working out. So let's really start working on some of the smaller things that we want to do before we start adding washes to these guys. Um, so we're going to take our lead belcher which really works for this and just kind of want to go over this a, a bit you want to catch all those there just want that to be nice uh, silver silver but we're going to darken that up too after all these things are pretty sinister but we're going to really try to really bring a lot out on this 
So the other thing we want to do is we want to get a little bit more of that paint on here. All right, there we go. And I'm not worried about, right now I'm just worried about getting coverage. And we're just going to go over this very lightly. As you see, I'm not going terribly heavy on this. And there's a reason for that. And everything's backwards here, but that's okay. We'll make do. It's just one of those days. All right, so now that we have our lead belcher and we're working that in, I've got to move this camera just over towards me a hair. Uh, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Because I'm trying to paint left-handed. Gargoyles are black and gray in the game. Some armor has blue as well. What? Which one's the gargoyle? Are you talking about this guy here? Well, I'm doing something different. I'm going by what the card showed me. Time to look this game up. I didn't know Dark Souls had a mini uh, miniatures game. Try and decide between the game or holding off for Swords and Sorcery. Which uh, released and looks amazing. It's a bit of a learning curve with it too. So we're just going to work that in there. And we're going to work in here. And we're going to... Um, they may be black and gray. I know that gargoyle, well, that creature over there shows up gray. I'll show you the pictures and I'll show you what I'm going from. Now this, I, I had just had a different idea because it was kind of bony and stuff. I wanted to do something a little bit different with this guy. Because he just caught my fascination. So I kind of like putting the blade on him. As you can see, we are doing right now. Uh, miniature market has... Yes, they do. Thank you. Leland for handling all that. All right, so we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to make sure we got that, that, that. And then he has, as you can see, um, he has some armor pieces on him. So I kind of want to work some of that armor in on him. And take some of that off there we go and all I'm trying to do here is just go over the metallic areas that he has he does show some metal and I want to go down beneath the jaw here I kind of like how that works. This is all going to come together at some point, and you'll see exactly what I'm going for at some point. That shield's coming out pretty nice. That's perfect. And then we got that working. Now these here... It's going, and I want to make sure that we get in there. I want to get that pull all the way or his staff and we are going to try to get that squared away all right that looks all right so far now these I'm going to call metal on his wings now I heard this game's like impossible and I love games like that to be honest with you. If I go out there and I beat the first mission I'm kind of like okay well I did that. You know and it, I kind of lose a little bit of interest but the more impossible it is uh, the more I kind of like it to be honest with you. We're just going to go with this here. Now this is not going to be like the video game. This is just what I envision. 
because I've never played the video game. I think I tried it and I got thrashed at it. And uh, which one call it? Uh, Justin took it and he beat the crap out of it. He did it in like four days. Uh, let's see, swords and sorcery. Uh, I think the uh, swords and sorcery um, miniatures, though, I will say this much, are are a lot better than I've seen in a while from from that particular company, uh, Ares. So I'm kind of thrilled about that. All right, so let's let that dry for a little bit, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a couple things there. All right, so first thing I want to do is we are going to take some probably need Reichlin flesh shade more than I need anything else right this sucker. So, no, that's not going to do. So I'm going to show you some of the pictures here so you get an idea of what we're doing here. Um, We've got this guy here, which he's just mostly armor. Then this guy here, he's mostly brown. So that's the guy that we had that was white. And he does have some green highlights in there. So I'm going to mess with those a little bit. I think you'll see what we're going to do with that. And this guy here, um, we're going to dry brush. And we're going to bring that all out with a nice light gray, I think. And then, you know, it's just a lot of gold. A lot of these things are armored with gold. We do have the hollow soldiers and stuff like that, which we're going to paint up. Um, we have some large uh, soldiers that we are going to get. The silver swordsman, basic silver, but we're, we're going to touch it all up and do quite quite a few things here so we're going to use our washes to build down and then build out so the first thing that we need to do is find some washes to use How's that? normally i usually have everything ready but today i do not it's just it's crimsonberg ah here we go now we're going to use a reichlin flesh shade especially with the gold there's no cohesion in some of the zones you got pretty good orin ornstein and schmo I, I don't know i don't know what you guys are all right so now what we want to do is dull this guy down a bit so And um, we're, we're really going to bring out the highlights in these guys. And that's what that's the whole point of this right now is to just kind of really take this wash and really get in there. Now, it's going to dull this down. That's fine. And I'm okay with that because what it also is going to do is it's going to bring out some of the highlights, which is perfectly fine especially with the gold that we're trying to accomplish and by putting this particular wash on it's going to be easier when we we put a brighter gold on there over everything and it's gonna really kind of really stand out so by doing this we really get and, and don't be afraid to go over the red it's not going to kill anything that's the least thing you have to worry about and you can see we're starting to build downward so we're dulling this down but in doing so in doing so we are actually helping the model by filling the recesses with this with this really nice wash that is going to help what we're attempting to do here and that is really build a three-dimensional figure instead of just slopping a bunch of gold on there or uh, what do they call it retribution armor there we go 
which uh, is a color that I really like to use. Now you see where you know we're starting to get a little bit of shadows in there, and that's and that's what we're kind of working on here. So now, big boy here. This is where you're really going to see where it'll work because this is really going to dull this guy down. But we're going to come back strong and build outwards. That's why it's always good sometimes to do the the armor first or the skin of something first. And like we said yesterday, we're gonna just, and we're really just taking in and really putting it on there. We're not worried about how much we put on there. We're just really moving it around, making sure that we can get it in all the recessed area. There we go. All right. And we're really looking forward to playing this. I know uh, we'll have Janice, myself, Mike, and you know we'll see how it how it how it goes we might have one other i'm not exactly sure how this is all going to pan out but it will and uh maybe we'll try four players going down and dealing with all these from what i heard you just get crushed at this game and i'm excited about it and we have a couple more surprises for you so depending on how crushed we get. Uh, the live play will be all up here and on Miniature Market as well as this video here. You will find on Miniature Market our fantastic sponsor. Um, if only I could be so grossly incandescent. Yeah, there you go. We all wish for things, don't we? Require jolly cooperation to be Ornstein and Schma. Yeah, it sounds like it's it's going to be, you know, we're really going to have to work together. Something that I think we'd rather see each other die than work together. But I guess for this one particular game, we can get along. We have a lot of surprises, especially tomorrow. We're going to be doing a live box opening of, well, all stuff that we got at Origins. So we're going to do that live. I think you'll enjoy that. And um, there you go. We've got a lot going on here. Now, look at what we got here. See, now he has that more brassy kind of feel to him. But don't worry, we're going to build him outwards. This guy, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with him. I'm, we're just going to let these two dry for a bit. We're going to bring back our other dudes here. We're going to put these aside and let that wash dry for a bit. That's going to be key right now. Now, what we want to do is I just have to find it. And that's take a little bit of new oil. Oh, let me back that up so you guys can see. New oil. And that'll be a home run right there. Alright, so. Close that up. Got a paper towel here somewhere. You know, since this should be dry, I probably, while I have the flush shade out, Probably should just go right over that. Hmm. That still needs to dry a little bit. We'll let it. We'll let it. We'll let it sit for a little bit. Yeah, it's still a little tacky. So we're not going to play with him yet. But we'll get back to him. We've got plenty of time. So we're going to take some new oil and we're going to just kind of just. Go over a few areas here with this guy. Alright. Because once we get everything in the recesses to cover up the way we want, we're going 
too. And it's funny, when you open up the book, the first thing it says, you died. So we're going to take this dark wash. Even though we, this guy's pretty dark as it is, we kind of really kind of want to work that wash in there. And just kind of just take some of the add over a little bit. We don't have to put a lot. So, you know, it's not where we're really trying to get some recess out here. I, I am trying to darken this up a bit, though. There is no doubt about it. Because the next color I'm going to use is really going to build him outwards. And that's really kind of what we're overall trying to do here is build outwards. Now, once that wash dries, now you see he has a little clothing here. I'm going to worry about that last. So we're going to do all this work on this guy and work outwards. But we will actually add a few things here that'll help. Now you see what I'm trying to do here is I dulled them down a bit which is perfect for what we're trying to accomplish at this particular moment. So we're going to move him over. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing with this guy. Another guy. That we really kind of want to work our way outwards. Now I'm not worried about getting that over the red if I do. It's going to be fine. And actually, we're going to just kind of just work that outwards there. And just really just try to get, just go over the metal a bit and not worry about anything else. We're just worried about hitting the metallics here. Just, just a little bit, just enough to darken up certain areas. There we go. We can squeeze a little in between on his face. And it'll all come together. I see a spot that I just need to touch up. But we'll worry about that later. Right now we'll just get him aside so he will dry. And then we will continue with our highlights. Again, these are the Silver Knights. Again, all I'm trying to do is just dull this up a bit because we are going to brighten outwards. And again, he has a cape. I'll decide what color I want to make that cape later. Again, building outwards. And everything will work fine from there. But right now, we're just trying to get enough of that in there. Same thing here. Who's painting the bosses by himself? That's a dancer by Red Cape. Yeah, am I missing something here? I'm sorry. Probably should be paying attention to the chat, something I have not been doing. Would actually color the four kinged king? Uh, let's see. The video game hates you might be more. <laughs> Board game will hate you as well. That's cool. Rob will show the figures at the end. Yeah, I usually do. This is part one. We will have a part two because we'll have this. We'll have this all painted by Friday. That's for sure. I can understand the confusion. Hold on. He's painting the bosses by himself, not like the game. Yeah, it's kind of hard because I never played the game and I'm going by the cards. So. By the helmet, you can see, you can see, need the dancer. Oh, you're not missing anything. Oh, okay. 
for Dark Souls new board game. This is cool. I guess the real answer is I should get both Swords and Sorcery. Yeah, I'd get them both. So I played Swords and Sorcery with Sam. Uh, we were lucky enough to have a demo of it, and I thought it was very good. Um, it, it takes a little bit to pick up on initially. Um, and we made a mistake on something where there was a little bit of disconnect. And I will talk about that in my review of it um, at some point. But um, the reason for the disconnect is you have to make, to keep people engaged, you have to have them playing the enemies or else you can get dis, uh, disengaged. I'm doing all right, Pezcal. How are you? All right. So we are trying to get this as close to. Now the cards, I'll show you cards again. It really doesn't give you a lot of art. And, um, you know, since I didn't play the game, I could have researched it a little better, but I kind of thought it'd be fun if I just kind of winged it a little bit according to the art in the book. And what it comes with, I wish they had a little bit more art of it. But we will make do with what we have. And some things were just pretty obvious, and some things were just kind of not that obvious. Now, I heard the game. It, now, when Justin was playing it, you would hear him. <coughs> um, really really get ticked off at it because it was just brutal it was just uh, the game was just completely unfair to him as he would say all right and all we're doing is taking and we're taking a little bit of wash and going over this we're going to add some more color to this um, right now we are just really just trying to get some base base things going here and we'll get there we'll get there we always do so there we go and by just covering this um, lead belcher with a little bit of wash you'll see towards the end of the stream how we'll be able to pull the silver out so let's just move these all off camera for a bit all right there we go this is going to be part one as you can see we had a little bit of a problem to begin with but we're all right we're okay all right now we're going to close that lead belcher up and we're going to bring out our friend here I haven't decided what to do with this here this post uh this Thing he has. I don't know whether to make it a lead belcher or not, but I'm going to worry about it last. That's going to be the last thing I'm going to work. Um, Dean, trying to use at to help Rob see your question. Sorry, chat is active today. Um, okay, I caught that, so that means I'll be able to get and take a look at your question. I'm sorry, Dean, if I missed you. I'm usually really good at this today. It's just, did you paint uh, Assault of the Giants? No, I did not yet. We do have it. It is on our thing. I guess Sam played the dwarf. Yes, Sam played the dwarf, which was annoying, of course, because I ended up play playing some chick. Uh, my wife thought the minis looked a bit thin for it. Yeah, they weren't great, but compared to what uh, Ares normally puts out, um, they're very they're very workable, and I think um, I can actually really do some work with them. Okay, this is called the Tainite Demon. It's completely black in the game. Well, in the card here, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to try to do with him a little bit. Because we do want him to stand out a little bit. As you can see, some of the art of the cards. Hold on, uh, let me get my OBS up in front of this so you guys can see. So I can see what I'm showing you guys and make sure I'm on camera. Like uh, the one guy there, we do have the red and the gold. Um, he's standing out there. There's not okay. There's our our guy with his electric hammer. 
So we're going to try to bring that out a bit. But this guy here, I'm going to pull up his card in a minute. I'm sorry if, I, if I'm taking a little bit here. Okay, there he is. I'm going to try to do this, and that's why I went with the, a little bit of the gray underneath. I'm sorry. Uh, let me back off a little bit. The gray. Now, you see how he's kind of black, but you've got to try to build him out to give him that third degree, uh, the third, uh, a third dimension. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do with him. You know, what I think will work perfectly here is an administrative gray but lightly put on, just so we can bring out some of the details that he has. So we're gonna to try to give this a whirl here. Here's the administrative gray. I think it'll work perfectly for what we're trying to accomplish here. So, essentially, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry brush. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So some of you guys that are new, um, We'll, show, we'll see exactly what I'm trying to accomplish here. So I'm going to put this over here. And we're going to shake this up really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this gray. Not a lot. All right. And we are going to take and we are going to try to take it off as much as we can off our paintbrush. Okay. Now, a good thing to test to see if you have too much paint the bottom of the base okay by painting the bottom of the base you know where you're at so now the way he is all I want to do is I want to take and hold this brush just the way I have it and just just go over it very lightly and you'll see how it starts to come out a little bit and starts to work on the edges work on his overall muscle tone and I'm not hitting this very hard I'm hitting it very lightly I'm just working with what I got on this brush and let's just get that out of the way and that's all we're trying to do just ever so lightly just work our way around there we go and a little bit on the back I'm not worried about getting anything on on this pole here or, or his staff excuse me um, but all we are worried about is just getting it on him and just hitting the high points, the high areas. So it brings him out a little bit. And that little bit of gray there is going to help and set us up for what we are going to do next. As you can see, gives him some depth and all we're doing is just hitting those higher points we're leaving that dark undertone but we've got to give him some depth you know uh, there we go and you can see what we're getting here and how we're working that and just really working that brush around Probably, if we really wanted to darken them up, we could, but I think it kind of stands out with a little bit more of this. All right, so you would think that's where we would stop with this guy, but we're not going to stop that with this guy. Now this you have to be really careful with, this next color that we're going to use. And, no, nope, that's not it. I'm just completely off balance today, so just forgive me. And as soon as I find it, we'll be off and running. Okay, 
right here I have it's called white scar okay it's a white now you think okay what are you gonna do you're gonna paint white on this guy or you're crazy but just a touch of this and then when I mean that we are going to put such a small touch of this on here and it's going to make a difference on how this all comes together you're actually going to see exactly what I'm talking about and we're gonna shake this up real good we're gonna fold our little piece of paper and we are going to get a good amount of this on our brush. Our brush is nice and wet. Let's push this guy aside. And we are going to we are going to really work this into the brush. Okay? But while I'm doing that, okay, I'm pulling it off the brush as well. Because I want it to be very, very faint on what what I'm trying to do. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go. See, that's too much. That's way too much. That's not what we want. And we're gonna take a little bit more off, and we're gonna check again. All right, that's a little bit better. See how that's very faintly in there. And we're just going to hit some of those higher areas, just ever so faintly. Especially in here. And that's going to give just a little, a little bit more depth to the sky. Make sure that we don't have hardly any on there and just work, work, and work that into there, both sides of the tail, both sides of his, and we can even go and, and, and if we wanted to put a dark wash or over this and it would work out just fine. I thought painting was dipping it into white paint and washing it black. <laughs> no, it's it's actually a very nice and relaxing thing that you can do, believe it or not. All right, and now see see how he has depth. He has he has some uh, he has some work in there. Now we'll figure out what to do with this. This I'll I'll, I'll figure out next. But we're gonna let him dry for a bit. And we're going to take and clean off this brush. And we're going to put him off to the side. And so we're really working on the bigger guys today. And some of the smaller guys we've got, got done. We do, I did just to show you, these are primed black. But um, we are going to... We're going to work with these guys. We're going to build around them. I wanted to get their skin done first. So they look like garbage right now. But trust me, we will get these guys built exactly. And it will be a breeze at that. So now, this guy here. I really want to paint him dark. Um, as in a, a very dark brown. And by doing that, I think... Taking an Agrath's Urshade. Now I took and I used a, a palette Witch Flesh uh, right here, and I I dry brushed him pretty much. So now, because he's a bigger figure, I want to make sure this is good and dry. So I've got this dried off. I'm gonna put this aside, and we're gonna shake this up a bit. And we're going to take our dark wash and I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. We are going to really kind of add in another infusion to this guy. 
by really just making him a darker. Now this is only the first wash that I'm going to do on him. We're going to do a couple of washes on this guy. And, and what we're trying to do here is give him that brown feel. There we go. And we're working that into there. And that's exactly kind of what we're looking for. Not worried about getting any on the on the silver at all because we've got some plans for that too. So by pushing this in here, we're giving him a very dark feel. And we're gonna get that all into his tail area. And this is only the first wash that we're going to put on him. He's gonna get hit with a couple of washes. And we're gonna work that into there. And what's that? I don't remember any of that in Dark Souls. Well, I can tell you this much, I don't remember any of it in Dark Souls. You know, I sat. I usually like watching him play, so I, I sit and watch, or I'll try a game, but if a game's too hard, you know, my reflexes are gone at this point in my existence, and that I will watch him more than, than actually try to play a game. And, uh, boy, I've seen some monsters that he fought that, uh, you know, whoever comes up with this stuff is purely, purely imaginative. You thought I was going to say evil, didn't you? But no, no I'm not going to say that. All right. And we are going to really work this in. Now you see what this is doing. This is just getting in the recesses and, and really working its way around. And I've got to kind of just, this is going to take a long time for this to dry because it is a wash and washes do take a, a bit longer. And I'm just going to add a little more in there. Let's see, you guys see. Now, I'm not going over every area. There's some areas I do want to leave because I did see something in the pictures that I'm going to try to uh, duplicate. Let's just get that in there. And, I'm, and forgive me if this is popping out of range a bit. Uh, Rob, we have a few new faces. Welcome. Okay. Um, see all the dark stars. Uh, Rob, if you want, I can send you a playthrough of the game. Please do thick schmug. Huh? I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, let's, let's get some of this off here. There we go. And we're just gonna work that in there. I'm going a little heavy here because I really wanna make sure this gets covered very well. According to the picture, this is exactly the color that he is. So we are going to come over that a little bit, come over that, give that rusted feel. I don't mind going over that a little bit. There we go. And there we go. So now he went from that really bright white to this really hideous dark brown dark color that we are really working on trying to achieve and we're just moving some of this wash around really take your time and move it around they really pay off for you here we go and there we go. All right, another guy off to the 
drying range. Now everybody wants to see this guy is almost dry or we can start building outwards with him. As you can see, and uh, Dark Eater Midred is my hardest Dark Bow Buzz ever faced. If you like games that focus on testing you, yeah, you'll have to learn from your armor mistakes, and then you probably will. Okay, I highly recommend playing it by yourself first. Just to get the feel for the first time, then watch others. Okay. Thanks, John and Kennedy. All right. Thank you. Well, we're gonna we're gonna now we're gonna start to try to bring him out a little bit. He's still a little dry i mean still wet a little bit it's along with his uh counterpart here but we're really going to start working on bringing a little bit of that gold out and there's a way to do that we've got a couple guys dry in here which is real good and that guy i forgot well the heroes will do tomorrow um I am going to put him off to the side for a little bit. We'll leave him in the picture shot because everybody's curious about these two guys. So we'll leave him there. Uh, Midred isn't hard in good design way. He's hard because he has NG level HP at the base and he's erratic from can't design dragon fights. Yes, Lori, it is out now at Miniature Market. Yes, it is. You can get that bad boy at Mitch Market, and as always, Liam, Liam's helping out and doing a great job in that. All right, so we're going to let these dry a little bit. And one of the things that we want to pull out here is I do have this green um, camo shade, and this is, plays a big part here because I usually like going over the flesh, getting that done, and then building these guys outwards from there. So we're going to take it. I'm going to show you. Basically, if you're going to fight against zombie-type guys, and these guys do have a zombie look to them. So right now, I just want to get this nice and ooky so they look disgusting. You know... We'll do our close-up paint paint job on these guys where you'll get to really see how they look. But the, I think what's most important right now is just getting their flesh. And by doing that, we will get very far. Hold on here. Let me just wipe this brush off a little bit. Here we go. Let's push that down. And the way a lot of these guys look, they're just gross. So we are going to keep on with that theme. And by using this camo shade green, it does give us a nice texture to it. There we go. Do the same thing here with this guy. Just going over all the flesh areas. And you can see I just kind of flopped the flesh on, <laughs> if that's a way to put it. And there's a reason for that because going over their clothing is really easy. You're just going to take your dark grays and you're going to go over and then and then we're just going to dry brush everything really nice and and everything will just kind of come together. But the thing, the most important thing that you want to do is you don't want to paint the skin last. You kind of want to do that first, let it dry out. Whoops, almost knocked that over. That would have been a disaster. And there we go. And 
have a few more of these guys. We're just going to cover up. And again, we're just trying to get that flesh done. I just kind of threw that flesh on. As you can see, it's covered some of the hat. But that's okay for what we're attempting to do. And uh, there we go. This is pretty easy. There we go. Put that over here. And what time do we got? 7.24. All right. So we're just going to finish these up. And then we're going to show you how these guys all came uh, will come together. You know, the smaller villains as well. Rob, do you think about that hammer? What do you think about the hammer? Well, it looks pretty painful, to be honest with you. Well, the hammer, I think I'm going to... I'm, I'm trying to think because I want to add something to it. I just really do. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is now that I got this right where it is, I'm going to just research a little bit and try to see what I can see. And tomorrow when we do part two, we are going to uh, really kind of toy around and see what we can come up with for that particular um, for how we'll, we'll mess with that. Okay, good. So we've got all our green wash on here. Now I kind of want to do like the pitcher and put the green wash on our guy here, but we're going to wait and we're going to hold right here because we're going to let everything dry really well. Smog hammer is a bit bent. Yeah, it is. It's just one of those things. It's not a big deal. I don't make a big deal of it. It's a nice model and we'll make do with it. We could, we could put it, you know, I could have put it in a little hot water, but I just don't think it would have stayed as well, but we'll make do with it. All right. Uh, looks great. I'm super salty. He did red on the Boreal Knight. You're salty. Why would you be salty, my friend? Because I'm pretty sure that wasn't Margo. Uh, let's see. All right. All right. I saw this new player went completely blind into the game and when he got on S, it took him about a whole five hours to beat them. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. All right. So right now, I'm just going to kind of put these in front. We've got these guys right where we want to be. Um, pretty much we've got everybody kind of in a holding pattern, especially with all the drying that we're doing here. And um, we're going to make it all work out here. And uh, what we'll do, but he was bad. His fury backstabbed. Okay. Something I was missing there. So that's where we're going to leave this right now. And uh, tomorrow we'll come and we'll finish up. We'll get everything done. Which would have been ice blue hues. Am I confusing it? I swear that that's a boreal night. There is the red dancer. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's just something I decided to do a little bit different. I wanted to bring it out a little bit. But we'll see. Maybe there's. Uh, I can check it out and see. Maybe we can make a. a Boreal was the one with the four legs with the mace and walked on all four legs. Okay. All right. So that's where we're going to leave it for now. This is part one. We're going to be done. Uh, and, uh, and tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do some more. All right. So with that said, thanks everybody for watching and sorry for it jamming up, uh, in the beginning and, uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. We'll get everything all painted up.